Okay, so I was using my Chromecast the other day to record from, uh, and I, I noticed that it would be better if you had an infrared remote control, uh, or just a remote control that instantly controlled play and pause. Um, so what we'll do is, I've got a program here on iPlayer, if I start casting that program, There you go, as soon as that starts playing I can turn my phone off. There you go, so that's playing now. So if I turn my phone off, uh, or I start using my phone for browsing the web or checking emails, if someone walks into the room and wants to have a conversation and I want to be able to pause it, I've got a... There isn't anything on the screen uh, immediately without me having to unlock it. Um, and uh, so it's not as convenient as just being able to do this. So we've got an infrared remote control, pause button. There you go, so I can pause and I can play just by pointing at the TV. Now, I can't rewind and fast forward, which is strange because I can on my Apple TV, um, but uh, this is using a function called HDMI CEC. Uh, and if this isn't working on your Chromecast and your Chromecast is plugged directly into the back of your TV, what you need to do, well, certainly on a Samsung TV, go into settings, uh, go down to system, expert settings, and you need to turn on a feature called HDMI CEC, and you can see it's called AnyNet Plus here as well. When that feature is turned on, that means that certain functionality uh, of your device uh, connected via HDMI is controllable by your remote control. And in the case of the Chromecast, it's play and pause. So you may already have uh, a, a remote control that already works with your Chromecast that you didn't know you had. So this is a free fix. Um, I can't, there are other methods for getting Chromecast with a remote, but they're usually quite complicated. With this one, it literally is just changing a setting on your TV. Some TV manufacturers leave CEC off because it can cause problems with the TV switching itself on. Some devices, when they perform an update in the night, might turn on your TV. So if you're getting your TV uh, phantomly switching itself on, turn off CEC or just disconnect that device and then try it and see if that works. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.